AI take center stage, AI take the side stage, AI take the back stage. It was AI all along. Google is now an AI company. Google is now an AI company. That is the big message Google I.O. is sending to the world. At the annual conference of what is maybe the world's largest advertising and search company, uh, we got to see AI take center stage, AI take the side stage, AI take the back stage. It was AI all along. We are introducing an all new AI mode. It's a total reimagining of search. With more advanced reasoning, you can ask AI mode longer and more complex queries like this. In fact, users have been asking much longer queries, two to three times the length of traditional searches. And you can go further with follow-up questions. All of this is available today as a new tab right in search. That's a big message. Google has signaled a shift from being a company that used to talk a lot about smartphones and uh, smartphone software to a company that's talking about AI coming into everything they do. Being at the cutting edge of AI with some of the products that they announced today, like the Gemini uh, 2.5 Flash or uh, the new VO3 um, content generation for videos uh, and even Flow, which can help you create a cinematic um, a cinematic workflow, which is purely based on AI. Gemini Live capabilities are free and rolling out across Android and iOS. Deep Research and Canvas are getting their biggest updates yet. There's a new agent mode coming for multi-step actions that you heard about earlier. We're introducing Gemini in Chrome to help you navigate the web, and you can create stunning images and videos with sound using the new Imagine 4 and VO3 models. It's all coming together in the Gemini app as we work to deliver the most personal, proactive, and powerful AI assistant. It's really at the cutting edge of what AI can do for creators, what AI can do for companies, what AI can do with your data. So AI is really at the center stage and nothing could have been more significant than in a almost two hour long keynote, Android being relegated to the last five minutes, even though that in my books was the most exciting part of the show. So what was that? That was the showcase of uh, the Android XR glasses, which for people who are as old as me uh, is a throwback to what Google Glass used to be, but seems to be a superb way to bring an AI assistant like Gemini to whatever you do. So the glasses can see, uh, it can help you decipher what you're seeing. It can help you remember because it's almost like a rewind button on your life. With Android XR, a lightweight and designed for all day wear, even though they're packed with technology. A camera and microphones give Gemini the ability to see and hear the world. Speakers let you listen to the AI, play music, or take calls. And an optional in-lens display privately shows you helpful information just when you need it. These glasses work with your phone, giving you access to your apps while keeping your hands free. All this makes glasses a natural form factor for AI, bringing the power of Gemini right to where you are. from Chrome to your Android devices to even going into cars uh, to creating new content and creating new opportunities. Uh, and the other big takeaway is how AI is sort of becoming the core of search also. As Sundar Pichai put it, um, they are reimagining search in every possible way. Um, Gemini brings in these deep research capabilities, which some of the AI platforms have already done. But now these deep research capabilities are coming into your search, which means you can ask a very complex prompt in the search itself. And um, it's going to search for multiple things, give it to you in a collated form, 
and that's really going to revolutionize the way we see search. Uh, that's all from Mountain View. Uh, we'll be back with more of 